a very warm good morning to all of you today i aparna jain your science teacher is going to explain you chapter number 19 a seed tells farmer story before proceeding with the chapter i would like to ask you do you remember we had read one chapter chapter number 5 seeds and seeds different facts that we had learned in that chapter and many many of them were very interesting right so let us have a gist what we had read in that chapter in that chapter we read that plants reproduce through flowers a fruit is formed out of flower the fruit contain seeds and there are many different kind of seeds for example mustard fenugreek sesame coriander chana and rajma even various kinds of seeds are found in fruits and vegetables like apple mango watermelon papaya tomato cucumber etc all the seeds do not get chance to germinate some fall from parent plant and do not get proper sunlight soil air and water and also we read about different agents of dispersal of seeds like wind water etc right so now in this chapter we are going to read about one special kind of seed that is bajra seeds now as the name of the chapter suggest that a seed tells farmer's story so today bajra seed is telling the story of its farmer whose name is dhamji bai okay so first of all let us see how bajra seed looks this is how bajra seeds look and you know we also find them in our house because they are used to feed different birds like pigeon crow etc okay so let us start with the story a bajra seed that is also called millet is telling its story it is also telling that it is a seed of a farmer named dhamji bhai who used to live in vangam vangam is a small village in gujarat and do you know where gujarat is yes it is in india right very nice and what is the capital of uh, gujarat it is gandhinagar very nice kids now vangam is famous for fruits and vegetables okay it is very famous there are different kind of fruits and vegetables that are grown every year good crops were stored for next year farmer used to store their good quality crops for next year so that they do not have to buy it from market you know what methods were used by farmers to store seeds let us find that for storing the seeds there were two methods one was good crops were stored in dried gourd you know what is gourd gourd means loki which was coated with mud to prevent them from extreme hot or cold or rainy season even dhamji bai made a wooden box to store seeds he also kept neem leaves to prevent the insects away because neem leaves are bitter in taste so whenever they used to keep the neem leaves insect might not come near to the crop and destroy them okay even you know all the members of the family used to help in farming because farming require lots of men power whatever farmer used to grow out of that they keep enough for their family so that they could meet the food requirement of its family and rest they sell in the market 
to earn some money which can be used for the next year farming now bajra seed is telling a very interesting dish that is undhia in winter undhia a kind of stew stew means mixed vegetable was enjoyed it is a very tasty gujarati dish and you know it was enjoyed with bajra rotis homemade butter curd and butter milk farmer used to grow different kinds of crops grains and vegetable according to the season every year it was like a festival for them they loved to enjoy with eating with each other having chats and also spending time with their family because farming require lots of hard work and whenever they have a good crop it is just like a reward of it now let us see few things that are made up of millet seeds one i have just mentioned that is enjoyed with undhia that is bajra rotis yes bajra rotis are very tasty moreover we can make one another gujarati dish that is dhabera and it is served with pickle okay another thing that we can make with bajra is bajra rab and it is just like a soft drink next that we can make is bajra khichdi okay not only this but we can also make bhat of bajra or laddus also right next that i have mentioned is different seasons related to farming i was telling you that farmer used to grow different crops according to the season of the that crop just have a look how these seasons are divided broadly the seasons are divided into three main head one is your rabi time of this type of crop is october to march they are sown in october and harvested in march for example wheat broccoli etc another name of season is kharif it is from june to september and example of these crops are rice and cotton you remember whenever you have a, your school vacations then you find lots of watermelon musk melon and cucumber in the market why they are not available in december because they are the crops that grew, uh, sown in march and harvested in june and this type of crops are grown in season of zaid okay and example watermelon and cucumber now you would be thinking ma'am wheat and rice are available for all the 12 months why because although they are sown and harvested in this month but what happens we store them so that we can utilize them for the remaining months also now there are different festivals that are celebrated in india even india is a in this cold land of festivals so there are various festivals related to farming let us have a look on them first one is holi besakhi lori pongal etc you can add on your list okay so i uh, just i want to conclude for today by saying that farming is not only farmers livelihood or occupation but also a backbone of any country it is because of these farmers that we get food if they will not grow food then what we will eat so respect them not only them but also their profession 
this much for today we are going to continue this chapter in next part of the video thank you